Hey guys, so as promised, I am doing my nail polish collection. I hit 70 subscribers, not last night, but the night before. I don't exactly when, because when I went on, I had 73. So, I'm now at 79, which is pretty crazy. That's like 10, uh, not 10, it's 9 subscribers over the 70, but because it happened so quickly and I'm doing work experience, it's hard and I did film my nail polish collection video last night but I decided I'd do it now because it's in real like decent lighting or somewhat decent lighting and yeah just be easier so I um, just want to put in a disclaimer I'm not trying to brag or anything like that like everyone says um, but my collection compared to everyone in the beauty community I guess you'd say it's quite small but to regular people it's quite large so um, just so I'd say that and hopefully this video doesn't go for too long. I do know I say that in like every freaking single video and they go for like 10 minutes long. I like watching long videos, I don't know about you. I mean, I don't try to bore anyone, but I'm not going to go through every single nail polish. Otherwise, the video will go forever. I'm just going to go through my favorites and, you know, tell, the, tell you their names. But with other ones, I'm not going to tell you their names. And I'll let you guys know where I've gotten um, my nail polishes from and where you can get them in certain stores and blah 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 so it'll be written down below and thank you guys so much for 70 plus subscribers so if you want to see my nail polish collection video just keep on watching hey guys so this is my nail polish collection that is a white shelf that my brother made me for my birthday especially you know just for my nail polish so I'm gonna get straight into it this first shelf here and I'm just going to say this now, I do apologise if there is a major, like, amount of shakiness. I'm going to try and not have it so shaky. So, that's all of my China Glaze, my OPI, my LA Girl, and a NYX one. So, I'll talk about those ones first. Okay, so first here, this is a China Glaze um, nail polish, duh. And this is in the colour Blue Year's Eve, so... This is what it looks like. It's a very dark midnight blue and it's actually at the base of my nails. So, it's that blue right there and I love this blue. So, that's in Blue Year's Eve. Then this one here is a fault line. Sorry, this is in the colour fault line and it's a matte crackle. Um, I'm not quite sure but... Sorry, the lighting doesn't see that purple. It looked amazing, the swatches online, but the matte finish I really do not like how it like finishes, like it's weird. And yeah, that's a crackle, and this is in fault line. And I think that's upside down. Yeah, it is. So fault line. Although you can't really see that, but oh well. Then here, this really pretty purple. It's like a pinky purple, I can't really describe it. It does look a little bit darker in this lighting, but it's it's amazing colour. Now I have that on the tips of my nails, which you can sort of see on my index finger. And I have no idea how to say it, but it's like Senorita Bonita or something like that. No idea. Love that colour though. Then my favourite colour in my China Glaze collection of um, five is the Sweet Hook. This is in Sweet Hook, sorry, and this is a pastel purple, and this is freaking amazing. And you can tell I've used, you know, I've been using this, uh, yeah. So, that is in Sweet Hook. Love this colour. I wear it, like, I try not to wear it all the time because it's kind of boring. And then this is a very popular one, and that's for Audrey by China Glaze. Which is a really nice um, turquoise colour. And everyone says it reminds them of the Tiffany & Co brand pretty much. Okay, so now on to my OPIs. I have four of them. Whoops. And this one here, I think, would have to be one of my favourites out of them all. This is the Metallic for Life by Nicki Minaj. It's a black-based nail polish with a massive amount, a huge amount of glitter that it looks like it's actually a glitter nail polish itself. But this is amazing, but a bitch to get off and I like I love wearing it and that's in metallic for life. But um 
Yeah, this is from the Nicki Minaj collection. Love that. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> these two here are actually knockoffs. I bought them at a market and like my friend told me they were real. But turns out they're not, so I didn't really care. I paid I don't know how much. I think it was like six dollars in total or it was like five dollars each. No, I think it was like six dollars in total. Which is really cheap, whether or not it they were real or fake. And yeah, I used to love this colour and that colour, but that one most. So next is no, it's a real one. It is in quarter for your thoughts, and it's a beautiful like concrete colour. It sounds so weird, but it looks like concrete, and I really like the colour. It's just very different to most nail polish colours. So that's my China Glaze and my OPI. Next I have LA Girl Rockstar and then three LA Girl Addicts and a NYX Girl. So this one here um, would have to be my favourite out of all of my LA Girl ones because it's a really deep purple um, base, like a royal purple, and then it has an iridescent um, finish to it which it doesn't pick up on the camera with like gold and yellow flecks. And then the glitters are like blue as you guys can sort of tell. Um, but yeah, like me holding this, it doesn't even, like, it still doesn't show very well to colour. But this is in Groupie. I love that colour. Um, these three here, I haven't actually, like, I don't think I've worn them yet, but I do know that they're slight, like, they're kind of sheer. And then this baby, I love to death. This cost me, like, $2.50, I think, or a dollar. And this is in between mauve and purple, which you guys won't be able to see it because it's actually a really small writing. But you will notice I do own a lot of purples because purple is my favourite colour. But honestly, like, this purple may look similar to a lot of my purples, but definitely doesn't come out the colour it does in its bottle. It's beautiful. I love it. It's a very different colour. Okay, so that's all of those nail polishes. Now on to my BYS side of things. So yeah, I do own a ton of BYS, but you know, whatever. So I have a black crackled, and these two purples here are actually the same. I bought one, and then I was gifted one. I have a UV one, which they're apparently, um, they look really cool, but I haven't tried it out yet, because that was a gift. Then I have a color change one, and honestly, I was so excited about these, but I was kind of disappointed because they don't last very long. It lasts about two days. And then it just sticks to one colour. And this used to be, I haven't worn it so much now that I have all my other favourites. But this is a metallic purple. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty pearly finish. And this is in Ladies, wait, Ladies That Lunch. So, Ladies That Lunch. What a weird name. But it's a beautiful purple. I love it. Then I have another crackle and another crackle. I thought that this colour was actually just a nail polish, like not a crackle or anything like that. Um, that was a gift and I think I bought my black crackle but I don't really like crackles because they kind of like look sort of tacky. I don't want to offend anyone who likes them but I know I don't really like them. I, I was absolutely obsessed with them though when they came out though. This was my very first BYS nail polish and it's probably dried up so I don't know. A matte red, a blue, a really nice green. I love this green. It's a really pretty shimmery green. As you guys can see there. It's got, pur it's, sorry, not purple. It's got gold flecks through it. And then this is in, whoops, upside down again. Hocus Pocus. So I love that colour. Then I have this green. It's like a snotty kind of green. <laughs> it sounds so gross, but I didn't have a green like that. And it was like $2, so I bought it. Then I have a white, which comes in very, sorry, it comes in handy. My very first glitter that I owned was a gold one, and I think this is the original gold one. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, I think this is the second bottle, but as you can see, I've used quite a lot of that still. Then this is my second bottle of the silver glitter, and I need to replace this because it's gone kind of thick. I don't know, but it's, it's a really nice colour. And it's in Starlet. You know, it's just a silver glitter. Then I have two nail art ones. And you can't even see them. But it's a black. And a 
glittery purple one that I got for my birthday, but it looks like this, and it always has. It looks so gross. I think it's actually, like, off because the consistency doesn't really look the greatest, but, you know, whatever. So that's all my BYS. I do have quite a lot, but, you know, whatever. Flex your boat. Down here are all of my Ulta 3, my Revlon, and my Rimmel and Sally Hansen. So I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually missing one right here. Of course you guys didn't notice that by yourselves. Okay, so I have a black, and then I love this one. I haven't even worn it yet, but it's a multicoloured glitter, and it looks so pretty. I think most of the glitters in here are pink, but it looks gorgeous. Can't wait to actually wear that. Missing purple, a purple, uh, a really individual, like, it's a pearly kind of pinky um, metallic purple. It's a very hard colour for me to describe, but I love it. And this is in lollipop lilac. Uh, don't know how to describe that. It's like a deep kind of rose pink purpley colour. That looks red, but it's like a deep pink. Sadly, this isn't very pigmented because it's a really nice, like, colour and it looks so much brighter on the camera but oh yeah put it down here um but yeah this is an orange colour and I just thought I'd tell you the name because it's in carrot top which I found kind of amusing a really nice green that is very sheer which is disappointing and then this I used to love and this is my NYC angel and it's got this amazing iridescent pearl finish to it it's beautiful love it um, my two Revlon metallics, a bronzy one and a silver one, and then my very first nail polish that I owned, except this is like the third bottle, 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 and it's a very nice, um, it's a royal purple, and um, yeah, that's what it looks like. This is in Pompos, weird name, eh? Pompos. Yeah, you guys can't see that, but yeah. Another purple, which I think is dried up, and then a scented Rimmel one. It's in Strawberry Fizz, and it smells amazing. It's a really pretty bubblegum pink. And this is a Sally Hansen. No idea why I took the label off, but this is in 320 Fuchsia Power. Fuchsia Power! Woo! Ugh. Crap. Okay. Last shelf down here, I have an Australis one, and... I got this before I got my um, China Glaze for Audrey, but disappointingly, like, disappointingly, it doesn't really make sense, sadly, this isn't exactly the most pigmented one. I mean, I haven't tried any of their others, but, like, this one is very sheer, I'd show you, but it'd be kind of awkward, so. This is a really pretty colour, though, and I'm disappointed, so I haven't actually... Worn. I think I wore that twice because it really just doesn't show true to colour. Then I've got like this thing here I was given by my stepmom and it's like a burnt orange colour. I don't know if I'll wear it, so... Wow, it actually looks nicer on camera, but it's more of an orange colour. So, that's in like 72 and it's chemistry or something. Then this is the one that I got from Ella, which is a really pretty maroon kind of red. And um, I really look forward to wearing this. It's very pretty. Such a cute little bottle. It's so small. So, yeah, that is pretty much my nail polish collection. I hope it didn't go for too long, guys, and it didn't bore you too much. But if I didn't say this already, my brother made this nail polish shelf for me. Um, and it's got six shelves, and it's made from CVS, I think, or CBS, or something like that. It's compressed cardboard, so, um, I would recommend using that over balsa wood, because balsa wood's, um, expensive for what it is, and to get really thick sheets, it's quite pricey, so I just go with, like, a nice light cheap wood, and this is just a compressed cardboard, and then I painted it white, so it would, um, make my colours pop, so... Yeah, that's all of my nail polish, and I hope you guys enjoyed this nail polish collection video. I'm sure I'll do an updated one of these in the future, so um, that's everything, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.